Most churches are afraid of these gifts. Most churches say, and most doctrines of men say that these gifts, these great gifts, are no longer available to God's people. Now listen to me closely. You hear this preacher. We have supernatural enemies. We're in a natural world, but we're facing supernatural enemies. Now listen to me closely. You don't deal with supernatural enemies by natural means. You can't defeat spiritual or supernatural enemies by natural methods. God gave us supernatural weapons to deal with supernatural enemies. Now, I want to read a portion of Scripture to you from the book of Ephesians. And I'm reading this to you out of the Living Bible. Paul said this to the great church at Ephesus. Now, the great church at Ephesus was born, born out of a move of the Holy Ghost. When you read the record, in the book of Acts. And you see Paul coming on the scene there. He found a small band of disciples. And he began to talk to them about the Lord. And, and he realized these people believe. They believe on the Lord. And he asked them this. This is the first question he asked them. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And you know what they told him? We have not even heard that there be a Holy Ghost. And Paul told them about the great third person of the Trinity, the Holy Ghost. He told them about that endowment with power from on high. Jesus told his disciples, he said, you go and wait in Jerusalem until you, until you, until you be endued with power from on high. Supernatural power that would come out of heaven and come upon them. In Acts chapter 1-8, the Bible says that Jesus told his disciples, he said, you shall receive power. Now listen to this. After that, you shall receive power. What kind of power? You look that up. Dunamis, miracle working power, supernatural power. He said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He said, once the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you, he said, then you'll be witnesses of me right here in Jerusalem. He said, it'll go out to Judea. It'll go out to Samaria. And eventually, because of that great Holy Ghost power, that sparkling supernatural power that's upon your life and empowers you to preach the gospel with miracles, signs, and wonders following, he said, it'll spread to every nation of the face of the earth. Amen? Amen? So he's talking to them, and he said, Do, have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received this power since you believed on Jesus? They said, we hadn't even heard that there'd be a Holy Ghost. The Bible says, Paul said, well, listen, let me lay my hands on you. He said, I'm going to lay my hands on you, and you're going to receive this great gift of the Holy Ghost. You know what the Bible says? He laid his hands on every one of them, and every one of them began to speak with other tongues. 